Hey guys, it's Erin, so I'm starting off by applying a base coat to all my nails. My first nail is inspired by Rapunzel, so I'm starting off with this light nude color. Then once that's dry, I'm using a light purple to paint a sweetheart neckline for the top of her dress. Then I'm filling in the bottom with the brush. Once that's dry, I'm taking a darker purple and just roughly painting on the same sweetheart shape I painted for the neckline. This is just to add the skirt. Then I'm taking a light pink and painting two X's for the lacing up the front of her dress. And for each part of the laces, I'm adding a purple dot. Finally, finish with a top coat. This next nail is inspired by Elsa, so I'm starting off with the same light nude color as my base. Then I'm painting a curved line about two thirds of the way up my nail for the top of her dress. Then I'm taking my light blue polish and filling in the rest of my nail with the brush. Once that's dry, I'm going in with a small brush and a darker blue color, and I'm going to be painting again a sweetheart neckline for the second part of her dress, and filling in the bottom half with the brush. Now Elsa's dress has a bit of an icy sparkle to it, so I wanted to add some super fine holographic glitter to the bottom of her dress. And finally finishing with the top coat. And of course we have to include Anna, so I'm starting off with a light blue base. Then I'm taking a black nail polish and painting a rounded chevron shape about two thirds of the way up my nail. And once I have that outline, I'm filling in the bottom with the brush. Then I'm outlining that neckline shape with a gold nail polish. And then I'm going to be doing the details of the floral pattern on her dress. It kind of starts out with two green lines that curve into almost a heart shape, and then two other lines on each side of that. Then I'm going to be adding some hot pink dots for the flowers. And finishing with the top coat. This next nail is inspired by Tiana, so I'm taking a deep nude for my base. And the neckline of her dress kind of looks like a tulip, so I'm mimicking that shape by doing a rounded triangle shape in the center, and then doing another rounded triangle on each side of that. Then I'm taking a lime green and again painting a tulip petal-like shape on either side, and filling that into the bottom of my nail. I wanted to define that a little bit more between the mint green and the lime green, so I'm just adding a chevron of white here. And then I'm going back in with my lime green and adding a necklace just like Tiana's wearing, just with some simple dots. And apply a top coat. And the last nail is inspired by Moana, so I'm taking this golden nude color for my base. Then I'm taking an orange nail polish and painting it about halfway up my nail. Once that's dry, I'm adding the details to her dress. I started out doing this with a brown nail polish, but I think the black popped better. The pattern on her dress is really intricate, so I really just tried to simplify it here into some simple shapes so anyone would be able to paint it. So to make this little pattern to look like Moana's dress, I really just did two parallel black lines and then added some triangles in between each space. And then I'm taking a white nail polish and painting a wavy line over the top of that pattern. Then I'm taking a dotting tool and a ocean blue nail polish to add Moana's necklace. And adding the chain of the necklace with some black and white polka dots. And finishing with a top coat. And there you have your super easy five designs inspired by some of the modern Disney princesses. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from Cute Polish, you can click these boxes here to watch more videos. And you can subscribe to Cute Polish by clicking the circle here for a new video every week. You can also subscribe to my personal nail art channel by clicking the circle here.